so, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't hold in my laughter because I'm still trying to wrap my brain around what I just witnessed. I, I still can't believe it happened. That was fucking crazy. I got back from hanging out with my friends, watching some Studio Ghibli films, and I come home thinking I missed the entire Oscar ceremony, but nope! I found out that they had yet to do Best Picture. So, I went upstairs, grabbed my TV, ran back downstairs, plugged it into the wall, plugged the cable box to my TV, turned on the Oscars, and Best Picture came up, and I'm like, okay, yes, at least I get to see one category uh, for the Oscars, so let's see how this turned out, and of course, Jimmy Kimball had to do a shoehorned-in Matt Damon joke, so they presented the nominees for Best Picture, and then Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway were presenting the award, and they opened up the envelope like, and the Oscar goes to... Warren Brady's like, I have no idea what's going on. He shows it to Faye and she's like, La La Land! And the whole team from La La Land goes up. All three of the people who were nominated for this category who won, or won, did, they all did their speeches. And right before the third guy finishes, someone comes and is like, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't win. Uh, actually, La La Land did not win Best Picture. It was actually Moonlight. No, this isn't a joke. This is not a joke. It pulls out the ballad, Moonlight. Moonlight! And everyone in the crowd it was like a freaking frenzy. We had, no one knew what was going on. We thought it was a joke. Apparently, Warren Bra Beatty was like, they gave us the wrong envelope. It said Emma Stone, La La Land, when it should have been the, it was the best actress uh, envelope, which is kind of weird. How'd they give them the best actress envelope? This is the best picture. I mean, come on, it's the simplest things. And so Faye, when she saw the words La La Land, she just said, okay, La La Land's the winner. And that's, he explained the whole thing, but oh my god, was that, that, hands down, will go down in history as the biggest Oscar screw-up of all time. But also, one of the most memorable moments at the Oscars of all time. I can honestly say I have never seen something like that happen at the Academy Awards. And as much as it really felt awkward and embarrassing, I enjoyed it. Every freaking second of it. I loved it. It was it was just it's one of those rare moments that you capture on camera where everything is out of control, everything is chaos, everyone doesn't know what's happening, whether or not to believe this or not. It's just it was the perfect storm. And I, I'm happy I got to see it. I I would not have wanted to miss this for the world. So thank you, Oscars, for sticking in there and help or waiting long enough for me to get back from hanging out with my friends so I could see this magnificent train wreck. I loved it. Uh, anyway, with that all said and done, hey guys, the Black Critic Guy, and here is my sort of quick video to do an Oscars recap. Now, I did not get to see the show, unfortunately. I only saw the very last segment, which... Honestly, I can't, I can't imagine anything else before that being more memorable than that. And if, it, if there were any other memorable moments in the Oscars, please let me know in the comments. But I seriously doubt anything could top what happened with the best picture category fiasco. But I didn't get to see it. I'm pretty sure Jimmy Kimmel did a good job hosting. I'm pretty sure a lot of the speeches got very political. Hell, the best picture category, the speech that Warren Beatty gave before presenting the award, or presenting the award, he even turned it a bit political in a very awkward and forced way, which I'm like, Beatty, just say, say who won, we don't need this whole thing about politics, just get to the award, man. So I have the list of the winners here, I've looked at them, I'm actually, I've guessed a majority of them, so I'm just gonna basically gonna say, yep, I call it that, and well deserved. But let's go ahead and get into who won. Best Supporting Actor went to, of course, Mahershala Ali for Moonlight. While I personally don't think he did the best performance in the entire film, I do think Mahershala Ali is a great actor. He's a rising star. I loved him ever since seeing him in House of Cards, and I'm glad he's finally get some, getting some recognition from the Academy, from the industry, and I can't wait, wait to see more from this guy. I'm super excited to see more. Moving on. <sighs> Best makeup and hair went to Suicide Squad. So now we'll never hear the end of it from all of the DCEU fans and the Suicide Squad fans saying, See? Hey, look! 
Suicide Squad 1 Oscar. See, that makes it good. What do you have to say about that? Well, of course. Okay. You won an Oscar for hair and makeup. Congratulations, you won your Oscar. But it wasn't like one of the big ones, like actor, actress, director, picture. It's, again, a technical award that not a lot of people pay attention to. But you know what? Fair is fair, a win's a win. You won best hair and makeup. Congratulations, I hope you're proud. Moving on, we got best achievement in costume design went to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Interesting, I did not expect them to win that. Uh, best documentary feature, OJ Made in America. Best sound editing went to Arrival. Uh, I think it's well deserved. The sound editing was good. I think personally it would have been nice to see it go to either La La Land or Hacksaw Ridge, which I thought the sound editing was spot on there. Best sound mixing went to Hacksaw Ridge. Interesting enough, you would think if it won best sound mixing, it would win best sound editing. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. Congratulations to both of them. Best Supporting Actress, ooh, I'm excited about this one. Viola Davis takes the win for Fences. Now, this woman is a phenomenal actress, and she should have won an Academy Award years ago. She should have won for the help, but I'm happy that she finally got her well-deserved win here for Fences. And she did an amazing job in that film, really strong performance. I'm happy, I wish I could have saw her speech tonight. It would have been nice. I probably will see it after the fact and I'll put a link if I have it, show you guys it. Cause I'm, I, I have a feeling that it's a very emotional and moving speech. I'm excited to see it. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Best animated short film went to Piper. Remember that 3D film that played before Finding Dory with the photo realistic animation about the little bird like going into the water and stuff? That looked freaking amazing. It looked way better than Finding Dory. That won best animated short film and well deserved, so well deserved. That animation blew my freaking mind. That's the most standout thing about Finding Dory. Not the film itself, but that short that played before it. So good job, Piper, I'm, I'm happy for you. Moving on, best animated film went to obviously Zootopia. Now I know a lot of people might be mad about this win. Some people wanted Moana, others wanted Kubo. I for one was rooting for Zootopia from the very beginning. I love Zootopia, I loved its story, I loved its characters, the animation is fantastic. Everything about the film worked for me. And I'm so happy that the team that gave us the excellent Rick and Ralph finally got their win here with Zootopia. I'm really happy to see that, good job. Best production design went to La La Land. No surprise there, the production and design was really good. Best visual effects actually went to The Jungle Book. This one actually surprised me because I thought it would go to Doctor Strange or Kubo and the Two Strings because if there's one thing a lot of people praised about Doctor Strange, it was for its visual effects. That's one of the main things that stood out about that film to everybody. So I thought it would take this win, but no, it went to Jungle Book. And I will say that the visual effects in Jungle Book are great. I just don't think they're as good as the ones that were in Doctor Strange and of course Kubo and the Two Strings. But hey, that's just me. I think this is the only award I've seen so far where I'm not fully on board with who won. I'd rather have it been Doctor Strange, in my honest opinion. But hey, it won, it's over and done with. Congratulations Jungle Book for your win for best visual effects. Moving on, we got best film editing went to Hacksaw Ridge. And if you've ever seen a war film, they are very hard to edit. So this is a very well-deserved win. Congratulations. Uh, it would have been nice to see La La Land or Arrival win, to, win in this category too, because I thought both of them had superb editing, especially with La La Land with its transition from scene to scene. Very graceful transitions. Uh, but hey, Hacksaw Ridge was a great film. It had good editing, well-deserved. Best cinematography went to La La Land, deservingly so. Congratulations, La La Land, I'm happy to see that. Best music written for a motion picture, so best original score went to La La Land, of course. Best original song also went to La La Land for City of Stars. A lot of people were campaigning for the audition song to win, and although that is a very powerful, moving, and emotional song, City of Stars is just the breakout hit from that movie. Everybody remembers City of Stars. It's just so catchy, it's memorable, it's cute, it's fun to listen to, and it's fun to sing to. And I'm happy that it won. I mean, either way, it would have won for Audition or for City of Stars, both of which are great songs. It would have been nice if Moana would, would have won one of them, as I love the music in Moana, really good music, but I'm still happy La La Land took the uh, win here. 
Moving on, best original screenplay, surprisingly for me, went to Manchester by the Sea. I actually thought La La Land would take this, but they gave it to Kenneth Lonergan instead. And I'm a bit disappointed, a bit peeved that The Lobster did not win Best Original Screenplay. Out of all the ones that got nominated, Manchester by Sea, Hella High Water, La La Land, 20th Century Women, The Lobster's the only one that counts as an original screenplay, as I've never seen a film like The Lobster, or I've never seen a screenplay like The Lobster before. So, I mean, I've seen a musical, I've seen a heist film, I've seen an overly dr melodramatic drama, and I've seen film about like some type of movement rights, but a film about a guy that signs up for this program that he has to find his true love and if he can't find his true love he'll be turned into an animal and he picks a lobster, come on. That is a, an original screenplay right there and that should have won in my opinion, but hey, it went to Manchester by the Sea, so congratulations Kenneth Lonergan. Um, good job bro, <laughs> that, I got nothing more to add. Best adapted screenplay went to Moonlight and yes, very very well deserved. I loved the screenplay for Moonlight. I think out of all the ones that got nominated, Arrival, Fences, Hidden Figures, Lion, it was the strongest of those screenplays. Moving on now to Best Director, it went to my boy Damien Chazelle for La La Land, who did not see that coming. He definitely earned that Best Director award. Um, it would have been nice too to see like Denise or, or Denis, I don't know how to say his full name, so I apologize. It would've been nice to see Denise or Barry Jenkins from Moonlight win this award, but I'm happy that it went to Damien. He, again, he did a phenomenal job crafting La La Land. A very, very well-deserved win. In fact, a majority of these, besides about two now so far, have been well-deserved wins. Moving on, we got Best Actor. It went to Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea. Congratulations, I've heard a lot of great things about his performance, so I'm gonna say that it is well-deserved. I have yet to see it for myself, but again, well-deserved. I would have loved to see Andrew Garfield win it, or even Denzel, as I thought both of them gave fantastic performances in their films, but the Academy chose Casey. I'm proud of you, Casey. Good job, you're repping Boston. You know, making Boston real proud. <laughs> and I do find it funny that between the two Affleck brothers, Casey's the one that won for Best Actor and not his big brother. But his big brother still has two Oscars ahead of him. So <laughs> little bro's gonna have to get one more to tie with his big bro. Moving on now to Best Actress in a Leading Role, it went to Emma Stone for La La Land. And again, very well deserved. I personally would have liked to see Isabelle Huppert. She could have pulled an upset as her role in Elle is fascinating and I bet it was very challenging for her. So it would have been interesting to see her win this, but I think Emma Stone, she definitely deserved it. La La Land had a lot of momentum going into the Academy Awards and a lot of people were praising her performance. I mean, the scene where she sings auditions alone gets her the nomination and got her the win, so. Much love. Congratulations, Emma Stone. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. And now, the moment we all have been waiting for, Best Picture. At first, it was La La Land that took Best Picture, but after the whole debacle, we later discover Moonlight was the Best Picture. I, I still can't get over it. I cannot believe that actually happened. That is fucking hilarious to me. And when I was doing my live show with the people over at Beyond the Credits, I said that it could either go to La La Land or Moonlight, and if either one of them won, I would have been very happy, very satisfied. And technically, both of them did win. <laughs> La La Land won first, but the real winner ended up being Moonlight. So congratulations to both of them, and congratulations to Moonlight for taking home the big award best picture. It was a, it was a great film. If you haven't seen Moonlight, I highly recommend it. I feel so bad I did not do a review for it because it is a fantastic film. And that was the 89th Academy Awards, guys. I did not get to see the show, unfortunately, but I would love to know how it was. So please comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the ceremony. What did you guys think of the wins? Do you think all the people who won deserved it? Or do you feel like there were other people, other teams that deserved it more than others? And stay tuned. Hopefully I can get an anime review out later on today and I will be doing my monthly live chat tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned for that. 
And as always, guys, if you like to see more videos on this channel, be a part of the Black Critic Group, please hit that subscribe button below, like this video if you really enjoyed it, and I'm Tony Wall II, the Black Critic guy who hopefully will not pull a fiasco like that in his lifetime. Till then, peace, YouTube.